Good morning, Extreme Kids. This is Brother Jesse. When you say Extreme Kids, that happiness is one of the most important things, it's because like, if we didn't have happiness, like even if we had like all the toys, all the games, just anything you could ever think of when you're older, maybe that that car that you like so much or, or the home or anything else, it wouldn't mean anything, even if we had that, if we weren't happy. So today we're really gonna talk about that but not just that, about also, what's the difference between being happy and joy? Sometimes we don't talk about that as much. Like, what's the difference between these two things? Well, of course, Jesus is going to help us explain this today. And we're going to be speaking about when he was born, when he first came into the world, and, and how that made us feel, and also what we can also learn from that. So this month is all about learning to be joyful, learning to be happy, because that's one of the most important things. That's one of the best parts about God is he wants to do everything to just make us happy. And when we're kind of working with him, that's his most important thing. And of course, so nice when we can make God happy and even feel joyful as well. So today, our lesson is based off chapter Luke chapter 2, verses 9 to 12. So I'll read the first two verses, and then I'm going to have you read with me where we're talking about joy. So to see what we can really learn from God about this. So Jesus and his family are, just to set the stage for the story, they're going to Bethlehem right now. And Jesus is about to be born, and they're close by a field and there's some shepherds there, and they see something in the sky. And I'll read it right now. It's taken from chapter Luke, verses 2, 9 to 12. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. Imagine that big light in the sky, lighting it up. And they were filled with great fear. Kind of would be too. And the angel said to them, Fear not, and repeat after me for this, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. So this is where they get to then, an angel appears and says to the shepherds that are right there, Jesus is going to be born, your Savior is going to be born this day. And the angel goes on to say to them, the way that you're going to be able to tell who this baby is, is he's going to be wrapped up in, in some swaddling clothes real tight, and he's also going to be in a manger. So the shepherds kind of look to each other and say, we have to find where, where this Savior is right now. We've been waiting so long. So they went into Bethlehem, and sure enough, they were able to find the baby Jesus wrapped up in the manger, and they were filled with joy once they saw Jesus. All the way back, they were singing God's praises, and even the angels were singing God's praises as well. Why were they so happy, Extreme Kids? Because they had been waiting for Jesus for so long, and they knew what it meant with him being there, that their Savior was there, that they were now saved. So not only did they feel happy, but they felt joy. So what can we learn from this extreme kids? Happiness sometimes depends on like things that we have, like we mentioned earlier, toys, games, things like that. But joy is something, it doesn't depend on like what we have. It's something that God gives us in a heart that we can just have no matter what, whether we're having a good day or a bad day, deep down in our heart, we have joy knowing that our God is there with us, that he's protecting us, that he's keeping us safe. Not just that extreme kids, God gives us this great gift of joy that's different from happiness. Joy is something that stays. And, and when it does, it affects the people around us. When you have joy, you don't even need to say anything and you can make other people feel good around you just, just from experiencing that. Also, when we help people, it can be more powerful. We're, we're even nicer when our, with ourselves. When we have joy, we're, we're kinder with ourselves. We're more understanding. 
And also it just makes us not worry as much because we know no matter what, that God is with us every step of the way. That is why God wants to give us joy, because he wants us to be happy. And it's his way of reminding us, extreme kids, that he is there with you every single day, that he has your back, that he's your strength. And it's a reason to just feel happy and to feel good. So I encourage you all this week, extreme kids, to remember that you are saved, that Jesus came to this earth to rescue you. And because of that, you can feel joy and feel good knowing that you're always protected, that you're always looked after, and that God is with you every step of the way through everything that you do. Hope you have a great week filled with joy, and we'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye for now.